China's Type 004 is projected to be the country's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, and potentially the heaviest warship ever made. China's apparent construction of its first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the Type 004, represents a monumental shift in naval power dynamics and a significant technological leap for the People's Liberation Army Navy. Recent satellite imagery and reports suggest that the vessel has appeared at the Dalian shipyard, signaling that China may be advancing its carrier program at a rapid pace. A successful nuclear-powered carrier program would likely translate into advancements in nuclear propulsion systems for other naval assets, including next-generation Chinese submarines and surface combatants. PLA Navy's Type 004 nuclear-powered aircraft carrier finally appeared at Dalian Shipyard. The emergence of a Chinese nuclear supercarrier will inevitably provoke a response from the United States and its regional allies. The strategic implications of a nuclear-powered Chinese supercarrier are profound. First and foremost, it provides Beijing with a platform capable of sustained operations in the Pacific, Indian Ocean, and beyond, reducing its dependence on regional bases and logistical hubs. New satellite images suggest that China may have begun the process of building its newest nuclear-powered Type 004 super aircraft carrier. At least, that's what observers are saying, well, you all know how skeptical I am usually, but this could actually be proof for the first time that 004 is under construction, writes at Ruprecht underscore A on his X account, which closely follows what is happening in the Chinese military industry. The Type 004 represents a monumental shift in naval power dynamics and a significant technological leap for the People's Liberation Army Navy. Its development is a clear signal that Beijing is committed to reshaping the balance of maritime power in the 21st century. The United States has long benefited from this capability with its Nimitz and Ford-class carriers, and China's push to join this elite club signals its intent to challenge U.S. naval dominance on a much broader scale. Developing a nuclear-powered carrier is an extraordinarily complex endeavor, requiring not just advanced shipbuilding capabilities but also a highly trained nuclear engineering workforce and comprehensive support infrastructure. The U.S. Navy took decades to perfect nuclear carrier operations, the key question remains how quickly China can bring Type 004 into operational service. Nevertheless, the rapid appearance of the Type 004 at the Dalian shipyard suggests that China is progressing at an aggressive pace. If the PLA Navy can field a fully operational nuclear carrier within the next decade, it would mark a historic milestone, solidifying China's position as a global naval power capable of contesting U.S. supremacy on the high seas. A successful nuclear-powered carrier program would likely translate into advancements in nuclear propulsion systems for other naval assets, including next-generation Chinese submarines and surface combatants. A nuclear-powered aircraft carrier grants the PLA Navy an unprecedented level of operational endurance and power projection. Unlike conventionally powered carriers, which rely on fossil fuels and require regular refueling, a nuclear carrier can operate almost indefinitely, limited only by food, supplies, and crew endurance. If China can master the complex engineering required for a nuclear carrier, it is plausible that it will soon develop nuclear-powered cruisers or destroyers, further enhancing its expeditionary capabilities. This allows for extended deployments far from Chinese shores, reinforcing Beijing's ambitions to establish itself as a true blue-water navy capable of sustaining global operations. The decision to accelerate the development of Type 004 is equally significant. The Type 003, known as Fujian, represents China's transition from ski jump carriers to electromagnetic catapult-assisted takeoff, similar to the technology used on America's Ford-class carriers. However, despite its advancements, the Type 003 remains conventionally powered, limiting its endurance and requiring significant logistics support to sustain long-range operations. By fast-tracking the development of a nuclear-powered carrier, China is demonstrating confidence in its ability to leapfrog conventional carrier limitations and accelerate the maturation of its naval aviation capabilities. The U.S. Navy took decades to perfect nuclear carrier operations, whether this vessel ultimately meets expectations or faces setbacks, its development is a clear signal that Beijing is committed to reshaping the balance of maritime power in the 21st century. If China can master the complex engineering required for a nuclear carrier, it is plausible that it will soon develop nuclear-powered cruisers or destroyers, further enhancing its expeditionary capabilities. 
A nuclear-powered carrier would allow the PLA Navy to maintain pressure over extended timeframes, reinforcing its growing anti-access area denial A2AD capabilities and complicating U.S. strategic calculations. Beyond Taiwan, the deployment of Type 004 would extend Chinese power projection into key maritime choke points such as the Malacca Strait, the South China Sea, and even the Persian Gulf. The ability to sustain carrier operations in these regions would enhance China's influence over global trade routes and energy security, challenging the traditional dominance of the U.S. Navy and its allies. Given that nearly one-third of global maritime trade passes through the South China Sea, Beijing's ability to deploy a nuclear carrier in the region would further cement its claims and deter potential adversaries. The technological ramifications of Type 004's development extend beyond the carrier itself. A successful nuclear-powered carrier program would likely translate into advancements in nuclear propulsion systems for other naval assets, including next-generation Chinese submarines and surface combatants. The U.S. has long leveraged nuclear propulsion for its most advanced warships, and China's pursuit of similar technology suggests it aims to modernize its fleet in ways that could fundamentally shift the balance of naval power in the coming decades. If China can master the complex engineering required for a nuclear carrier, it is plausible that it will soon develop nuclear-powered cruisers or destroyers, further enhancing its expeditionary capabilities. China's apparent construction of its first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the Type 004, represents a monumental shift in naval power dynamics and a significant technological leap for the People's Liberation Army Navy. Recent satellite imagery and reports suggest that the vessel has appeared at the Dalian shipyard, signaling that China may be advancing its carrier program at a rapid pace. If true, this development could dramatically alter the strategic landscape of the Indo-Pacific and beyond. The emergence of a Chinese nuclear supercarrier will inevitably provoke a response from the United States and its regional allies. If the PLA Navy can field a fully operational nuclear carrier within the next decade, it would mark a historic milestone, solidifying China's position as a global naval power capable of contesting U.S. supremacy on the high seas.